Here at home tonight, imagine having nowhere to call home at the end of the day. San Antonio City Councilman Roberto Trevino says more than 9,800 local families were evicted in 2016. But a pilot program the District 1 Councilman leads aims to change that. It's funded through the city's 2020 budget. Tiffany Huertas with how the Right to Council program has moved forward since it was approved last year. My monthly check got held back a little bit and once I fell behind, there was no catching up. Armando Vargas says due to his epilepsy, he can't work. He says his last disability check from the government was held back a couple months ago and it turned his life upside down. It was just a mistake they made and they made me wait and after that, you know, you get hit with late charges and all kinds of other stuff. After falling behind on rent, his family was evicted from their east side home. Today, they are living at Haven for Hope as they try to get back on their feet. If I would have heard about this program, it would have been a big change for us. I mean, we wouldn't be here. You know, we'd still be living in our neighborhood, making barbecues for my kids. Armando is referring to the new Right to Council program led by District 1 Councilman Roberto Trevino. The program aims to protect renters who have fallen behind on rent and are fighting eviction. For those who can't afford their rent, it's impossible to pay for legal services that would help them fight possible eviction. Trevino says his team has been busy reaching out to the community, trying to spread the word. They've also been looking to other cities for ways to protect renters. We've been talking to other communities as well that have improved on the model in New York City, like Philadelphia, uh, to get a better understanding of how we can how we can implement that here. Trevino's office reports that New York City saw major changes from 2017 to 2018. The city reduced residential evictions by 11 percent in neighborhoods offering tenants the right to counsel. The benefits are that both sides have a better understanding of, of rent and, and how we can actually uh, provide a meaningful connection between the renter and the landlord. $100,000 was set aside for this pilot program. It was approved when the budget was passed in September. Well, we're focused on finding out what are some of the issues going on. Is it things like late utilities? Is it uh, you know issues of, of home repairs? Is it uh, late payment? Trevino says court records show there were about 16,000 eviction filings in Bear County in 2018. Most of those judgments favored the property owner, not the tenant. To implement this program, the Neighborhood and Housing Services Department will partner with Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid, a nonprofit law firm. The $100,000 will be used to hire an attorney for the program, a project coordinator who will assist the attorneys conduct outreach and meet with different organizations. Money will also be used to pay for other staff who will be working in this program. Myra.